we're back and recovered. <laughs> That's right. Welcome Let's back come. to Sister Circle Live. Woo. Time is one of our most precious commodities. And yes, we are so happy to have a lot of time with the one and only Calvin Richardson. Y'all bring him out right yes. now. <laughs> yes. Hello. You're not gonna get on the couch. You're not gonna get on the couch. How you doing, Calvin? You're doing you doing fantastic. You. Oh, you. Yes. Welcome to the show, my love. Love the boots. Yeah. Thank you. I wish oh, we had a little boots fly. Yeah. Yeah. Little shoe cam, but you know, he looked real good. Appreciate well, it. Where'd you get those? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, I have a stylist, Raphael. He always hooked me up, y'all. You know, oh. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. I just get you up just and get show up. up. Yeah. yeah, I love those. I need to holler at Raphael. I, <laughs> <laughs> Raphael. I mean, I, I wear a pair of those I know. myself. I Absolutely. think that's cool. You, really know, cool. you, know. you rock there? Yeah. yeah. Something like that? They, they're fly. Like, seriously. Calvin yeah, came out here yes. like, what's happening with you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So I before love. we get into your music, let's talk a little bit about your family musical history. Mm -hmm. And what was it about how you grew up that, that you said well you know I'm into gospel but I want to do something different outside of the family oh I was you know I was forced into that way of life okay I chose this one oh. you know what I mean I grew up um, in the church my mom singing my my grandmother she was a um, she was an evangelist mm -hmm. you know so I that world I, I couldn't escape until mm -hmm. I got old enough to make my own decision right were they a little disappointed when you made the decision no I don't think so okay. yeah. I don't think so they okay. was they were supportive good as long as I was using my gift they was cool with it yes, okay yes. okay yeah. that's real well after two decades in, in the business and obviously being such a prolific writer which one do you prefer, writing or performing? Uh, I think um, performing is, you know, that's 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 first first mm -hmm. nature. Mm -hmm. um, you know, writing that's that's second nature. But the writing is just as important as the performance because yes. you got to have a, a message, you know. Yeah. And so um, that's 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 very important to me too. Absolutely, mm -hmm. having yeah. a message. Uh, you worked with Kenneth Babyface Evans for mm -hmm. Charlie Wilson single. Right. Talk about working with the legend of. Babyface. Mm, I that's mean, awesome. it was amazing. Um, Babyface is an incredible, prolific writer. He's just an incredible person. Yes. You know, I learned a lot, um, you know, just being around him. You know, he didn't teach me how to write, but I learned a lot from being around him because I never would um, sit down and write a song. I would just get on the microphone and, and just, you just okay. record parts of the song uh -huh. and put it together. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Babyface kind of forced me to sit down and, you know. Did it make you up. better as a writer? Did it make mm -hmm. you better? It definitely uh, changed my perspective as a writer. And I, I don't know if it made me a better writer, but, you know, it made me focus on um, some of the things that maybe I was missing, you know what I mean? Mm. And when you could sit down and look at it rather than just let it come out of your head and, and listen back. Right. Yeah. Both of those are, are great gifts. Though. I mean, it worked yeah. for me. You yeah. Know? yeah, absolutely. Let's talk a bit about your new CD, mm -hmm. Gold Dust, and mm -hmm. you have a mm -hmm. new single on there that is uh, entitled More Than a Woman. Huh. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's song. actually the new single is titled Let Me Love On You. Let yeah. Me Love On You. Okay. Yeah, yeah, All right, yeah. you know what? There is a correction here. Let me correct myself. It is Let Me Love On You. Right. I'm sorry it wasn't corrected somewhere else, that's but that's okay. <laughs> that's cool. You got me all the way together. That's fine. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about Let Me Love On You. Yeah, well, uh, Let Me Love On You is, you know, it's basically about, um, you know, a relationship mm -hmm. and, you know, being in a relationship. I think the one thing that'll make a relationship better is loving on the person a little yeah. bit more, you know, because everybody, there's always more room for love. You know, I mean, you can't love nobody enough. So, um, you know, so basically I was just speaking to that because, um, you know, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, but especially a woman, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to be, um, Women know that you, of course, on, yeah. they, you, yeah. you, you know. So I just, I built my career writing about stuff mm -hmm. like that, and uh, my my fan base is obviously uh, female, so. Yeah. <laughs> what, what draws you to writing and performing? I mean, you know, just living and um, experiencing things, being around people, and, you know, just kind of paying attention to um, uh, what, what moves people in life, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because uh, my mom always, she taught me at an early age that, you know, what comes from the heart, it goes to the heart. So, you know, if, if I give you something, they come from here, that it's going to touch you like that when you receive it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Your mother is very smart. <laughs> she, she really is. Yes. She really wise. Good. She really is. Good. Too. Well, uh, you know, in, in addition to writing lyrics, for songs and stuff, uh, you have written a book. Do you without them? I like that. Like, I like the whole I need thing you to about tell it. Me I didn't what? even read a word in the book, yet, <laughs> but I like everything about the title. Tell me about. Tell us about that. This book and this title. Yeah. Well, you know, um, the the book is basically um, about how I found success 
in the music business without having a lot of the things that most people who found success had to have in order to get there. Ah. You know, and um, I've been in the business, like uh, somebody mentioned a little earlier, 20 years, two decades mm -hmm. now. And so a lot of younger artists will come up to me or not even come up, they reach out to me on social media and ask me for advice or how I got to this place right. or how they can get there. And so, uh, you know, rather than try to answer everybody's question because I, you know, you can't always give them the answer that they're necessarily looking for. I can mm -hmm. only tell them how I did what I did. Mm -hmm. I decided to put it in a, in, in a book that's just chronic, chronicled my mm -hmm. journey yeah. mm -hmm. um, from the beginning to where I'm, I am right now. Well, what was the hardest struggle? Obviously, you were able to kind of circumvent uh, some of the things that people in the industry have been through. But, but, well, yeah, 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 but what, what, what did you struggle with, if, if any? Well, it looked like you won. <laughs> it took a while. Yeah, OK, got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think the win, that's when you start out, is when you get into business, You know, when you get that opportunity. You know what I mean? And, and uh, if things don't go your way right away, you know, sometimes you take it as a loss. But it's, it's just a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. And I think that was the hardest thing for me because, you know, I came in with uh, my expectations were very high. I thought the business was going to give me something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right away as yeah. it started. I mean, you know what I'm saying? The money and everything like yeah. that. But I was overlooking the most important thing that it was giving me along the way was the lessons. Yes, know? yes. there we go. Yeah. There we go. People, they overlook that part hey. yeah. all the time. And yeah. that's why you said, let me write it. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's good well, stuff. Okay, well, Calvin, we want to thank you so much for joining us here at The uh, Circle. And we wish you nothing but the absolute best. And listen, guys, if you want to get his new book, mm -hmm. uh, you can also find it on Amazon.com. And his album is going to hit all shelves mm -hmm. and anywhere uh, albums and music are streaming or sold on October 25th. That's right. Thank you so much, Calvin. And make sure you follow him on Instagram. Give it up for Calvin Richardson, everybody.